Big Daddy is here. Scorpio N is just not an SUV. It's an emotion that came straight from the heart. Meet Mr. Velu Sami R, President, Automotive Technology and Product Development of Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. Watch him demystify the company's latest offering, the Scorpio N. as he gives us the complete lowdown on its design and engineering its acoustics and its connected car technology he also talks to us about their latest gen 2 m hawk and their m stallion diesel as well as gasoline engines but that's not all there's also more dope on the scorpio n's fuel efficiency its feather light steering its latest turbocharger technology and its terrain management system stay tuned so the scorpio n provides three things compared to any other vehicle in the market number 1 spacious when i say spacious we are talking about three things the legroom the shoulder room the head room that's the most important thing for a 300 to 400 km drive that you want and the second is the refinement of the vehicle in multiple areas whether you take a ride whether you take comfort whether you take roll free ride whether you take a steering system very feather like steering the braking the nvh of the vehicle is completely quiet and the ac performance all of them put together shifts the orbit of the current scorpio to a next uh, generation orbit and it pushes from a c segment to a highly refined d segment the third thing is the technology that you see it has got smart core technology at the now it has all the in car apps that the d segment cars do not have 70 plus connected cars apps that it has it has got an alexa enabled uh, what's three word uh, that you can just call alexa and then it can connect to the, you can say the three word corresponding to your location and then it can display your navigation system so and uh, so that's fantastic feature uh, first in this uh, suv category the world the exterior design is done by pin and prina the interior design is done by our contrast studio the design services comes to us um, engineering the concept engineering of this car is done in uh, mahindra north america technical center uh, which now we call it as mahindra ev tech once the basic engineering is done it came to mrp and then the first prototype is uh, built the chassis engineering the powertrain engineering and the electrical and electronics engineering are always done from uh, mrp the rest of the body engineering uh, plus the suspension plus the uh, steering brakes and all the integration complete integration of the uh, MNTC where our engineers who are posted there they are posted there in MNTC and the lead engineers from MNTC plus the managers there uh, uh, they together we collaborated and created it because you need a large strength to create such a car then we built the prototype in uh, MRV 2019 we built the prototype then we have been testing this car and then we making changes and to get it right so then we had in the sequence we had to launch it in 2022 so you see two distinct color patterns or rather three uh, the black and then the granary structure that you see it um, the glossy uh, granary structure that you see it we have a pattern for it of what we can upgrade and what we cannot upgrade glass is uh, about 1.9 to 2.1 that's what we do and lower the pattern uh, or 
Sometimes if it is 2.2, it is better. Sometimes it is 1.6. It's too less grainy and it doesn't look nice. So you have to be very choosy between 1.9 to 2.2. We take multiple uh, iterations and then finalize. Uh, I like this uh, kind of surfaces. But when it comes to the leather light, that what you see here, this color and the twin color matching to this. It is little dark and brownish. Somehow this whole theme of infotainment uh, plus uh, the IP uh, plus the mid pad they all have matched together a lot of people said this is fine and they are all different different colors but at the end of the day for this segment it worked and it came out well sometimes you look for uniformity and sometimes you look for heterogeneity uh, it works depending on the color and color The smart core controller has got an embedded shim in it and um, it has got uh, connected features for a remote function. So for example, AC uh, switch on and switch off, um, temperature settings in the AC, then you have a door lock and unlock, engine switch on, switch off, um, the sunroof opening and closing, um, all these functions, uh, the headlamp on, turn indicators on off all these functions you can do it remotely so you are coming from an office by the time you reach the parking you can switch on the engine you can switch on the ac so you are comfortable alert systems that you have continuously it is tracking your vehicle wherever it is it's very safe emergency calls standard all the tracks and uh, all this uh, stuff are available the best thing about thing uh, in the connected uh, is uh, uh, the in car apps that we have so uh, Thrillo Flick in car app uh, that gives you wherever location, whichever location that you go, it gives you the best locations around it restaurants, hotels, the spots, scenic, scenic spots that you might visit, um, weather conditions. Uh, Aqua Weather gives you day to day weather conditions where you live in. Horoscope, any anyway, um, you can <laughs> do with that. Ticker tape that gives you stock market values of the. Your, your liked ones uh, that you can choose and set it and it keeps displaying. So all of these apps are not there in a disagreement car. Currently what is in production. Uh, maybe it may come, but uh, compared to this, uh, they are nowhere closer to it. The Alexa enabled technology is the best thing that uh, this car has. Coupled together, uh, in a way, the connected car technology is way above than any other car in the segment. It has a 12 speaker uh, Sony music system. It's a 3D immersive technology and that's the latest technology that comes from. So you can have stage feeling, you can have an, uh, you are sitting in a well of music and it can come around you. You can have localized uh, speakers speaking to you. You can choose the location, uh, the layouts you can choose and then the speaker will start from there. The rest of the people will hear from there. Yeah? Multiple uh, uh, modes of uh, music in the tournament. Yeah? So that's the beauty of uh, Sony music system. So you have uh, both diesel engine and a gasoline engine. They call that as a gasoline engine is installed in engine and diesel engine is generation to MR. Basically there are brand new engines developed in uh, 2020 uh, and they get into Thor, they get into XC7W and they get into Scorpio and in different forms of arrangements. So in Thor you have a north-south and Scorpio and you have north-south and in XC7W you can east-west installations. Fundamentally the engine is the same except that the different power levels and torque levels and the common rail system, the turbocharger, all of them are different because of the two different levels of uh, uh, torque and power for the diesel engine compared to Thor to Scorpio N. The gasoline engine remains the same because uh, the gasoline engine has uh, between XV7W and here they've got uh, 200 bhp it remains the same. Compared to Thor, uh, Thor was uh, I think it was 150 bhp and therefore it's a lower rated uh, engine for that segment and for that application. 
the engine has the lowest friction and hence it gives the best fuel efficiency and it has got the uh, latest turbocharger technology and the uh, common rail technology and the injection system technology for gasoline. It's an all aluminium block that reduces significantly the weight of the engines. Putting all together, the technology, the all aluminium block weight reduction strategy uh, and different ratings of power from the same engine helps you to get a common power but specific parts you can change it to get the power rating of the product that you are applicating. Like the steering, uh, we have got four modes that you see. In a normal mode, you have 0.9 uh, friction coefficient and then it is the, the wheels are not slipping. But as you know, as you go to the mud, you start slipping the wheels. Through the ESP, all the four wheels, we have a wheel speed sensor. And that wheel speed sensor starts to monitoring the slipping of the wheels. And whichever wheel is slipping, it will apply a brake and it will transfer the traction to the other wheels, which are not slipping, and then move forward. This calibration has been done, has, uh, done for grass surface, then you have a mud surface, then you have a stone surface, snow, sand, all of them, uh, that's what you see it, the four modes. So this is the sand, this is the mud, and uh, this is the ice, and this is the gravel surfaces.